Hello beautiful souls, welcome, I'm Eliana Angelica bringing you messages from light. In this video, we're going to be looking at your soul purpose, your soul gifts and your soul talents. Okay, but before we jump into the card selection, I feel like I need to speak about something and I find this to be very important. Um, especially because, you know, I'm going to be talking about your soul purpose and a few days ago, I posted a post about um, the purpose of the souls that came in on certain waves into earth, okay? And the reaction that I got to that post was very unexpected, alright? Um, there was a lot of things that I observed through the comments on that post, you know, and some of them were pretty disappointing and, you know, very unexpected to see within the spiritual community. So I feel like, you know, I do need to speak about this topic a little bit, especially because this, this reading is about your soul purpose, your soul gifts and your talents. So please do not, um, you know, forward this part of it. Please listen to this part before you jump into your reading selection, okay? So now the first thing that I want to talk about is, you know, your truth, okay? Your truth is your truth, okay? You know, you have to understand that we are all tapped, right? Or we are, we are all able to tap into the same intelligent consciousness, okay? The same collective consciousness or the same intelligent consciousness. So just because someone else has, you know, tapped into it in the past and, you know, talked about it, it doesn't mean that the next person can't tap into that, can't tap into that same cloud, okay? So I, I'm, I'm going to speak about this because I had someone tell me that I need to credit a certain author for what I had written. And I said, but why do I need to? This is something that I learned from my observations um, through the thousands of readings I've done. And, you know, from my understanding and my downloads, right, I've came up with this conclusion. And this person wouldn't believe me. And they said, but how can you say that? You know, how can you... Um, how can you justify saying this when this other person has written a whole book on it? And I literally had no way to explain to this person, you know, like to make them understand that yes, that person has written a book because they tapped into that cloud. It doesn't mean that someone else can't tap into that cloud and receive their own understanding. You know, it doesn't mean that I have taken that from someone, from someone else, right? So, of course, you know, I thought about how I can explain it. And then eventually I thought, you know what? I don't, I don't need their validation, right? So that's where I, I started to think about, you know, the bigger picture about how many people are ex actually experiencing this, you know? And I feel like a lot of us, you know, we have this thing where we receive our truth or we know a certain things, we want to do something. But then society's, you know, expectation uh, that someone else has already done, it, it stops us from doing what we can do or what we are meant to do, you know? I have received... Um, so many downloads where I thought, oh my gosh, wow, this is amazing. I've got to write a book and you know, I've got to share this with the world. The world needs to know this only to get to know like, you know, sometime later that someone else has already written a book on that same topic, like, you know, 10 years ago. So, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, right. But, you know, then I said, okay, how can I share the message in my own way, right? Because everyone has their own way of sharing their message. It's just like artists, right? Just because an artist has painted something in that technique or in that topic or in, on, in you know, whatever, it doesn't mean that someone else can't do it. You're not copying that person. This person could be tapping into that same energy of wanting to draw or, uh, or, or paint in that technique, right? No one owns anything. Okay, we are all able to tap and do the same thing. You know, a lot of times where I've posted something, I have people telling me, oh my gosh, I just literally got the same message this morning. So if they were to share that message, am I um, going to say that, oh, how could you? Do you know, that's my message. No, it's not. It's, it's there for everyone, right? So a lot of people hold back when it comes to this. So my point of telling you this is that, you know what, if you tap into something that someone else has already done, it's okay for you to do it as well. There is no limit to how many ways you can share a message, okay? So if you receive that message, it is your downloads, share it the way that you want. It doesn't matter if someone else has already done it, okay? If you feel like you want to start a channel and talk about something, it doesn't matter that a hundred other people have already done it, okay? Because this is your message. Your message will reach your tribe. Your message will, will come out through your, your vibration, through your, you know, your channeling, 
it will be different those who need that who need your vibration need your energy will find you will come to you okay another thing i want to explain is like you know say uh, an example not explain but another example is say you know uh, this child who grew up in the slums in india was able to come up with the equation that was once written by einstein okay or you know any other of the, the famous uh you know life-changing scientists out there okay or physicists so does that mean that that child is literally copying Einstein when you know this child has no access to the internet or you know to things like that all this child was doing is learning maths in school and for some reason you know he was able to to download all these things and just understand and come up with these equations that could change you know the way we view the world so we've got to understand that there is a cloud that we are all able to tap into so don't hold back okay if there's something that you want to share it doesn't matter if other people have done it or are doing it share it okay and if you see someone else sharing something that someone else has done you know so you need to let go of this this limited mindset that you think that this person has definitely copied it because you have read it somewhere else before okay that's being judgmental right you need to let go of this thing where you want to judge another person you know focus on yourself focus on the message that's what's important you know which comes to the next part of what i want to talk about which is you know sharing sharing your work with other people right share because you genuinely want to help others okay not because you want to feed your ego that's where that whole ego part of it comes in you know spiritual ego i'm better than everyone else okay or i am you know my truth is the only truth and things like that so the first part of the ego that i want to talk about is say something that i had to learn myself okay so when i shared something and someone else shared my post without tagging me to it or you know crediting me to that post i used to get quite worked up about it you know oh how could they they need to you know acknowledge me and and this and that and my page was really small you know i wasn't really growing as well and then when i eventually came to a point where i asked myself what's important you know why are you sharing this you know why do you feel so threatened when someone else shared your message without crediting you it's because my ego wanted that validation that is me i'm the one who wrote it come back to me come back to me because i want to grow but when i thought that you know what end of the day what's important is the message so the message is still being shared why am i sharing why am i doing this work is because i want to help people so if the message is being shared it's helping someone it doesn't matter if they know that i am the one who who wrote it it doesn't matter right when i came into that place and i finally let go and i was just happy that people were sharing you know thank you for sharing the message because more people need to hear this that's where i realized that my work started to grow okay and you know even even as a person my consciousness and and my business as well started to grow from there you know yes of course if someone cuts off my name and puts their name on my post it would annoy me i'm human that's having a human experience right feeling like hang on why would you you know cut my name off and put your name there that's not what you wrote but am i going to like react on it and harp on it and get really angry no i'm not in the past i would <laughs> i would most definitely be really mad at that you know how could you dare you you know but now yes i would be annoyed but at the same time i i can see where they're coming from then i you know i'm able to see that wow look at that you know i i see myself as someone who's able to receive the message and these other people who needed to cut my name off they are actually unable to do this work that they need to to feel good about themselves they need to feel feel that validation by you know pretending like that's theirs and if that's what they're doing you know the universe is a mirror right so if that is the energy that they are in imagine the life that they are having you know do you think they're going to grow and go far from that no you know if they're doing that that's basically the reflection of what people will be doing to them as well so when you look at all those things you know you release that need for you know for for holding on to anger and you release the need of wanting to confront them and you know and tell them that i know what you're doing and things like that you eventually let that go you know it's not it's not nice if someone steals your work obviously you know but you will not get worked up about it okay because end of the day you realize that is the message that's important okay now the other thing as well is you know feeling superior to other people you know everyone you need to remember that everyone has their own gifts you know their own talents okay needing to feel like you are more superior to other people that is you know lack of self love lack of that self worth 
So you're looking for validation from other people. You know, in my post where I, where I wrote about the waves, you know, I had people coming up, I am this and I am that and I am, you know, this is no such thing as this. And, you know, and, and this all this loud, loud um, voices, you know, with capital, capital locks, writing all these comments there, right? If you need to tell someone else, you know, shout out loud, that you are greater than all this, that you have, you know, all these things within you. Who are you convincing? You know, this is something that I love um, and I learned from a very good friend of mine, a soul sister, Tracy Grivel. You know, you should go check her out on Instagram. You know, she does this beautiful sacred geometry and she's such a, such a beautiful soul. Okay, so she's, you know, talks about spiritual ex escapism you know, where people try to avoid their human experience by pretending that they are greater than, you know, anything that exists here. We are here to have the human experience. Being human is amazing, you know. Enjoy this experience. If you're going to pretend, you know, avoiding the human experience by wanting to feel like you are greater than everyone else. I am Turian. I am, you know, Pleiadian. I'm the queen of the Pleiadian dimension. And, you know, that is is that is your spiritual ego speaking yes you could be a star seed yes you could have you could be a more evolved soul but right now you are here when you're here you're equal you are the same as all of us okay so ask yourself why do you need to feel like that you know you need to attach yourself to that label to feel important to feel like you're worth it you know what are you avoiding what are you running away from what are you hiding from you know which part of you growing up made you feel like you're not good enough that you need to be you know you need to um, identify with being something greater than human okay if you know how powerful you are as a soul you wouldn't need to identify with other things yes it's good it's okay to know you know yes i think you know i i come from this star system yes i've got gifts from this star system i came on these waves so i'm basically from this you know this place and i have these gifts but using it as your badge of, you know, spiritual ego, that's where things, you know, get messy, okay? So it's, it's, it's important to ask why you need to, to do that. Why do you need to feed your ego in that way, you know? You know, I hear a lot about people saying you've got to starve your ego and feed the soul. But I feel like you need to feed your ego as well. But because if you feed, if you starve your ego, your ego is going to want to eat from outside. And that's where you start to look for answers from outside, validations from outside of yourself. But if you know, if I know that, okay, I'm good at my work. I'm, I'm you know, I think I'm pretty, I'm okay. I do this and this and this. So I tell myself and I feed my ego. I say, you know what? You're amazing. You're such an amazing person. You've done this. You've done that. You've been doing this. You know, you've been through all these things. I feed my ego by telling myself that. You know, my ego is like my, almost like my inner child. I'll say that, look, you don't need to be afraid. You don't need to shout. You don't need to be loud. You don't, you don't need to, you know, be so angry or you don't need to prove yourself to anyone outside of you because I know, I know who you are and I feed my ego and my ego is full and happy and goes, okay. So if someone says, you know what? That's not even your work. You copied from someone else or you don't even know what you're talking about. Your truth is wrong and I am this and I am that, whatever, you know. I've come to a place where I can just say, okay, <laughs> okay, whatever makes you happy, you know, because my ego doesn't need your validation anymore. So if you say I'm fake, I'm this, I'm that, you're not this, you're not up to the standard of this, you're not up to the standard of, of you know, society's beauty, you're not up to the standard of society's intelligence or, you know, within whatever, then, you know, you're, you're not spiritual enough, right? Whatever, you know, I'm able to just listen and say, oh, okay, because my ego is full. I fed it by myself and that's what you need to do you know you if if you are content and you know your worth you don't need to shout your worth out to other people yes there are there are times where you need to tell people certain things for example if you're running a business right no one knows what you do so then you got to talk a little bit about yourself that's part of marketing right okay so this is who i am this is what i do you know that is not literally shoving your your um, you know wanting validation from just random people on the internet and the strangers where you're like this is who I am, you know, I am this, I am this, I'm born awakened, I'm born with this high consciousness. If you have to tell that to people, then you are definitely not awakened and you're definitely not tapped into a higher consciousness. Maybe you're awakened, but you're not tapped into the higher consciousness because you realize that that's not important. You know, there's so much, so much work that needs to be done 
on this level before we reach that high, you know, open consciousness, okay? Now, the other thing as well, okay, when it comes to your soul purpose and, and gifts and talents, we have had many lives, okay? We have had many lifetimes across all dimensions, across, you know, different realms. So, across all these times, we have picked up on many different lessons. Forget about, you know, past lives, even in this life, you know, a lot of us have done so many different things. We have learned so many different things. We have picked up on different things. So you're able to do many different kinds of work because you have learned it, right? So imagine this life plus all the other lifetimes where you have learned to do all this work, you know? So in this life, when you, you start to recall all your past life wisdoms, you will be able to do a lot of things, okay? But among all those things, there will always be one thing that is your your... What's that word? It's your soul's true gift. So say for example, you know, for me, I've, I've had many different, you know, past lives. I've done many different things. So in this life, right, I, I started to, you know, flow and try different things because I could feel, I, I was like, okay, I feel I can do, you know, I can teach transcend, uh, transcendent, oh my, I can't even say that word. What's that word called? Transcendental dance, transcendence. Uh, okay. So aesthetic dancing, you know, I'm able to to teach people how to heal the vibration of their body. I'm able to to work with sound healing. I'm able to work with um with shamanic healing, energy healing, you know, angelic healing, doing things like that. I'm able to do that those things. And I did do it. I did practice that. You know, I practiced those things until I finally came back to what I'm doing now. You know, I bought my first deck, my first um tarot deck when i was like i think this was more than 16 years ago so I was, like i think 2021 20, okay and but it wasn't something that i did at that point because i had to do a lot of different things before i could get to where i am today and let me tell you if i had tapped right into this right from that time with 21 my ego would have definitely taken over i would be giving people really really um probably shitty advice <laughs> because you know that was my age and I had I didn't have all these other experiences to help me and understand my consciousness was still you know pretty pretty um low back then so although I could read I had the gift but it wouldn't be right for me so I had to experience all these other gifts that I had you know so I, I did um you know offer shamanic healing at one point I did offer other um modalities of healing and readings and whatever you know spiritual line of work you know goddess circles and things like that i did do all that you know until finally it all brought me back to doing what i am doing now because the the, the seed of my soul's um soul gift is to see is to see and is to activate okay so that's what i'm doing now so when you listen to your reading later right it is basically gonna be your purpose that needs to be fulfilled at this time. So if say you are meant to be a, a coach, for example, a life coach, okay? But then you're meant to do all these other things, right? Maybe you're meant to be a photographer, you're meant to be a dancer, you're meant to be in the entertainment industry, you're meant to be in, you know, a different, different industries and do different things because that is what will finally shape you to be that most amazing coach that you can be for other people. So the reading is not going to show you coach. It's going to show you what you're meant to do now. Because if they tell you that this is what you're meant to do right away, you're going to jump right into it. And when you jump right into it, it's not going to work for you because you have missed this bit of, you know, bit of work here that needs to be done first, okay? Whatever that you learn now, you know, know that there's not just one thing that you can do. Um, so whatever that you get from this reading, just know that it's not, you know, it's not just one single thing that you have to do. You know, there are many things that you can do. We have the, the free will to do whatever that we want, you know. Although, yes, your soul may have um, a, a part, uh, you know, a certain something that you will really excel in and you will feel the passion of it. But if you feel called to do other things, you can, you know. If I tell you, oh, you're meant to be doing this, but you feel like you want to do something else, you can, you know. There's no rules here, but... What I'm telling you is, you know, something that is deep within your soul and it's, it's, a, it's a very powerful gift that you have, okay? So if you nurture that gift, you work on it, you practice, it will really grow for you, all right? Okay, so that was a long rant. Hope I haven't put you to sleep yet. <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump into the card selection. Oh, 
welcome group one so let's dive into your messages let's look at your soul gifts and talents number group one what does group one need to know Group one, a lot of you could currently be studying something. I do see that you're studying something. Group one, your power is in your voice. Okay, so you come with the activated voice, you know. There are a lot of people who can do the works like, like counseling or, you know, write books and things like that. But the ones that really reach people, that people really feel are by writers or speakers who have the voice activation okay so this is something that i always tell my clients you know it's an example that i give my clients so for example person c is grieving then there's person a and person b okay person a has the voice activation person b no activation so person b is now going to tell person c the grieving person you know what everything's going to be okay don't worry okay and person c is going to look at them and go like you have no idea what i'm going through what do you mean everything's going to be okay nothing's going to be okay whatever they're just going to get mad and now person it's a person a says the exact same thing okay person a has the voice activation says the exact same thing hey you know what everything's going to be okay and somehow they carry that vibration and that sound that brings that just activates something within the other person and that person goes you're right you know what everything will be okay I will be okay too so you group one have that gift the activated voice okay so when you put things out there it will be taken very seriously and you will be able to help a lot of people so one of the main things that you can do group one I see you know you uh, counseling you know using your voice counseling um, or speaking up for animal rights for human rights for you know family rights um, that's something that I feel you'll be really good at doing um, definitely teaching people healing people through your voice through your words um, a lot of you I do see you going on to publish publishing a book um, but a lot of you would also be able to, you have the gift to write your own study based on your own observation of, you know, things that you have learned and people would actually refer to your books to teach other people. Okay. So they will use your methods or your, your, you know, what you have written, your study to learn more about this line of work that you're doing. Okay. So I definitely see that you know you have had a lot of things that you've experienced in your life you know in order to be able to counsel someone you have had to have a lot of um you know experiences in many different areas of your life and that's why you can stand up and speak up for a lot of people i also see that you have had um quite a few lives in different dimensions in different realms you're very connected to inner earth as well so you work very closely with you know um the inner earth um energy you know with animals with Gaia with Mama Earth um, with with the crystals you know with the, the the earthy vibrations and energies okay I am seeing that you're able to you know build people up you build strength encourage so anything that is connected to empowering people you know helping them build their their life again that is something that you would excel in doing that's a gift that you have you're also here to do um the second work that you're here to do is to do is to do with your family so i do see you as someone who is um you know changing the dynamics within your own family um or helping families understand when things are different um Families who are grieving, who have gone through heartache, you are able to, you know, support these these families at times like that. And also, I am seeing your ability to to heal family wounds, family traumas, to end that within your own uh, lineage, as well as you know, helping others end that as well. Okay. So, besides that. 
with just you know your standard work and you know and the other thing that I wanted to mention as well you know which I didn't mention in the start was you know your sole purpose doesn't have to be your profession okay it can be something that you do on the side um you know it's not it's not necessarily something that you have to earn your money from okay so but there are a couple of things that are coming up here that you could work in um you could be doing the, this you know you could be doing um work in this line here right now within this industry or this is something that you can look into doing. There is something here, some connections to this industry here. So with um, buildings, so working on certain buildings with buildings. So some of you could also be um, within a construction company. Um, it could be something where you are within the hotel industry, you know, so something to do with hotels. Um, it could also be within the transportation industry. So I am definitely seeing transportation, hotel, um, building something, building cars, building, you know, technology, something to do with technology, computers. Um, so like repairs or repairing computers, uh, re you know, working, working online. That's also something that's coming up. Creative writing. So that's definitely something that you are able to do, you know, creative writing, uh, writing a book, um, quotes and things like that, helping people that way. Um, so even like when it comes back to the hotels and I see interior designing being something that you are able to do. So it's something that you could have done in the past, studied in the past or something that you're looking to study because I feel like you are very good at, you know, seeing colors and creating, you know, and for some reason it's something that you kind of blocked because it's coming up at the back of the deck. So you are you're blocking the artistic side of you from coming up because a lot of you could be amazing interior designers where you work with like fabric, apparel, you know, printing, pattern making, um, you know, designing. So designing certain um, things. So if it's connected to, to something, say it's connected to cars, you could be, you know, designing the, the interior of the cars, the fabrics that will be used on the seats, um, you know, just a little example there. Um, a lot of you also do have something to do with transportation. Um, so maybe you have shares within the transportation industry. Um, there is, you know, something doing to do with Uber, you know, buses, public transport. Uh, there's also something here that I think brings you a lot of joy is cooking, catering, you know, owning a restaurant, a food truck. Um, yeah, working with, you know, within that thing where you can be creative where you can, you know, come up with this amazing design for your food truck or for your restaurant. And then you have like a very creative way of, you know, serving your food, you know, the way that you decorate the, the, the dish, um, things like that. Dance movement, that is also something that I see you have um, a strong gift to, to do. But overall, your main, your main um, support here, your main strength is definitely your voice. You know, being able to counsel, you heal with your kind words, advice, ad, um, with your wise advice, and you know, your empathic ear, listening to other people, and also working with um, trusting your animal instincts. Okay, so that's just come up for you. Okay, so end of the day, you know, you are one of the souls who have the freedom to do whatever that you want. You know, most souls have this this freedom where you don't have to do one thing, you know, you're able to do a lot of other things, but if you decide to step and, you know, step up and do something like counseling, um, psychiatrist, being a therapist, um, helping families, um, that, or speaking up for the, the less fortunate, um, speaking up for those, for the voiceless, that will really fulfill um, your deepest, uh, if you feel any void in your heart, doing this will fill that up as well, will fill your void in your heart, okay? It will fulfill your deepest passions and your purpose in this life, okay? I'm just going to pull one more card from this deck to see. Yeah, so because we do have working with technology, working with computers, so, you know, a lot of you would, would really benefit from writing, um, you know, messages to help heal people. So it's like your messages, if you write, it will reach worldwide, okay? It's like, 
you have to let go of this idea where you want you're afraid of what people would say if you post online you know the person that's coming to me you know she's she's amazing she's really popular um she has like a few million followers because her work is literally amazing the holistic psychologist you know i'm sure a lot of people a lot of you know who she is you know she posts a lot of things that really helps people understand their inner child heal their wounds and you know so that's something that i see you doing as well so definitely creating an online presence for yourself that you can reach people around the world so you're not meant to be small you're meant to be big okay doing the work of the earth angels that is something that you need to do okay that you can do and when you do this work you will have a lot of support because that is part of your purpose so if you push and you know you tell the, your guides that okay i want to help this is my purpose i really want to help people i'm doing i'm putting myself out there you know help me reach the the tribes that will benefit from from help me reach my soul tribe and help me reach the people that will benefit from my messages and your message will reach everyone that needs to hear the message okay so trust that when you do the work do it in a way you know think of yourself as an earth angel as a healer right to putting your things there for for the highest good of everyone and not for your ego where you're like look at me i've got two million followers so i'm amazing <laughs> Okay, so you want to let drop that attitude, right? And post with the with the mindset that yes, I want to reach more people because I want to help more people. Okay, that is all that I have for you, Group One. Oh, and um, just the last message. I'm not sure if I mentioned this just now. Um, you know, whatever that you do, release this this need to defend yourself, defend your knowledge. Okay, because uh, I am seeing that there will be people who will be against what you're doing, who will say that you are wrong because they read uh, a different method in a different in a different place or they learn a different method from someone else. Or, you know, this person said this, so this person's popular, they are right. And you're just starting off, you're not right. Okay, so you need to let go of needing to defend yourself and just say that, you know what, those who resonate with my post will find me. Those who need my help will find me. I don't need to explain myself to anyone else. Stick in that attitude and you will be fine. And eventually you will see the trolls disappearing from your energy. Okay. Group one, this came to me while I was editing this video. So I'm just going to add my voice um, into this part of the video. I just, um, just want you to know that some of you are going to find um, your family disapproving of your work disapproving of what you're doing they may not agree with your messages or you know your choice of words or your choice of work okay so release the need to to explain yourself to them i mean you can always explain of course but if they refuse to see and understand the work that you're doing that is because they are in a different path altogether they have a different mindset a different level of consciousness you do you okay release the need to need approval from your family because i really see family coming in very strongly right now and so release that need to you know seek approval from your family and you know need validation from them you do what you have to do and they will eventually come around and they will understand when the time is right okay thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you in the next video welcome group two so let's dive into your messages let's look at what your soul gifts are Group two, you have got a very beautiful childlike energy. It's like I feel like the energy of the fairies, you know? Very light, very beautiful, very loving, very trusting. This is beautiful thing and because of that, um, a lot of you will find yourself feeling pulled to, you know, work with children you know, um, helping, teaching, healing children. Um, you've got a very strong connection to music, you know, so that is something that I feel you can tap into. Music is definitely part of your, your uh, a very strong purpose of yours. Um, it's like when you listen to music or when you play music, sing, um, meditate, music, you know, anything that's connected to, to this sound here, 
it's you're able to travel you travel between dimensions that is something a gift that you have okay so i definitely see you writing your own music writing your own piece you know practicing um it's odd but it's like they're showing me the whole story of the pipe piper uh, you know playing the music uh, playing the flute and then he he leads all the was it i i really don't know the story was it rats or was it children that he let out i know there was some there was like a darker side of the story i read that recently but you know i'm not looking at the dark side of it i'm looking at the positive side so it's like you know through your music you enchant people you it's like people get into a trance when they listen to you so you're able to to heal and you know change support people when you tap into this okay so you're definitely being asked to polish your skills by practicing regularly um you know doing more the more you do it the better you will get at it okay so don't give up um definitely writing your own music a lot of you could be doing meditations um you know it could be connected to children as well so if you're doing music for children or you're teaching children music uh teaching them how to play an instrument or you're writing songs for children or you know meditations for children there's something there and through your songs through your words through your art you know if it's if it's not music and songs maybe it's poetry you know whatever that you write through through this technique right there's the sound the songs even if it's not your voice and it's just the music somehow it will bring a message of peace to people will bring inner peace and it's like healing the inner child that is something that you will do it's like your music brings comfort to people okay and somehow it's like healing it's like i'm so i'm hearing chicken soup for the soul so your music is like chicken soup for the soul okay um i also do see you traveling quite a bit your soul purpose does involve you traveling so you could be someone who has moved a lot in your life you know constantly moving from one place to another one job to another um it is because you know your energy is needed in these places so you, you will feel pulled to go there and again i'm seeing like the pied piper you know leading the i'm just gonna say rats okay because that's all i remember from the cartoon i'm not gonna go back to to the dark side of the children and this and that i'm just gonna go he he saved the whole town from rat infestations by playing the flute and walking out so that's what i'm seeing in my head and that's what i'm gonna share and not the whatever the actual story so um if anyone knows the story do write it down in the comments i would love to to see the the real story but okay so anyway so it's like you go and you clear the energy of you know different towns and different places when you step in there with your music you know so you may be also going on a tour doing things for people um i'm also having for some of you this is coming to my mind um the wee girls and what are the others you know high five and all those children's um musical shows you know where they go they travel they have their tv show and then of course they travel and they have concerts and things for children that's coming up here as well okay so even if it's not um work that you're doing for children it'll be work that you kind of connect to your inner child and that's where the music comes from you know this very childlike energy um you know so whatever it is is connected to sound vibration music arts um writing um practicing okay and whatever that you do it will heal people so a lot of you have to tap into the you know understanding um frequency sound vibration um that's important for you to know so really tapping into understanding what frequency does what for people you know certain frequencies can raise the vibration some lowers the vibration so understanding that and it's like you have to decide that this is what you want to do because a lot of you could feel like oh you know can i make a living with this could i do that is it is anyone going to listen to me why would people want to listen to my my music or my words my art whatever that's something that you have to decide and say that okay to my to my team you know to my light team this is what i want to do you've got permission come in you know to the angels of music you have permission come in help me you know help me do what i meant to be doing help me fulfill my my heart you know my passion my my purpose okay so know that when you if you tap into this if you've been questioning if you know you will do well in this the angels want you to know that you will be fully supported once you do this work okay but it has to come from your heart it has to be very joyful 
So if at any time, if you're doing the work and it feels stressful and it's like you're doing it because this is what worked for everyone else or because everyone told you that this is the line you need to do, this is the kind of work you need to do, the kind of music you need to make, the kind of look, then that's not going to work for you because you've got to do what comes from you. Okay, so your inner child, if your inner child says you need to wear a fairy costume, run around and sing a song, that's what you're meant to be doing and you will be supported in that way, okay? So trust that so you really need to speak to your guides okay you need to you need to work with them right now they are here to support you but they can't support you until you decide that this is what you want to do and then you got to tell them okay so they're not going to decide and and push you you know into into this line of work or that line of work they'll just give you tips you know little clues here and there you know show you what you can do but you've got to tell them okay i want to do this now Come and help me, support me, okay? So whatever that you're doing is definitely, um, you know, connected to light and love. It's like you will teach, you will teach a lot of people, you will teach children. Um, teaching children is also part of something that would come very naturally to you. Uh, but it's, of course, end of the day, it is your choice. I do see that you have kind of blocked it out. You could have been doing it in the past and you're like, I'm done. Or you're just like, nah, I, I don't think I want to work with children. I don't want to teach children. So besides that, the few things that have come up for you here, okay, things that you could be doing right now, um, or people connected to this line of work that would actually help you, or you know, this is this these are just little uh, messages that are important, little uh, tips or clues as to what um can bring you closer to your purpose okay so you have spiritual retreats workshops healing circles so that is something that you could be doing you could be um you know organizing retreats or circles maybe even doing a workshop for children or you know a workshop to connect to your inner child um some of you could be using music and art to to create a tantric retreat you know, bringing people together, helping the divine masculine and feminine to respect each other, you know, heal their relationships. So that is definitely something that's coming up, you know, healing relationships, bringing people together, workshops, um, cleaning. So for some reason, you know, cleaning, um, because you've got attention to detail. So there's something about, you know, housekeeping, um, a cleaner's business, there's something there, a massage therapist. So that is also something that's coming up for you. It also says that you need to receive a lot of massage to allow the energy to flow through you properly. Um, working with computers. So if you're creating music, then, you know, creating it on your, on a certain computer system, you know, music system that you can create things. Um, there's def definitely engineering involved, a computer system analyst, analysis that's come up as well, and clear audience. So you do have the ability to just listen. So a lot of you have this gift where you listen to a tune and you can just play it on a musical instrument. You don't need to go and look at notes. It just comes from you. Okay, so that's something that you want to really allow. So the message here is, you know, whatever that you're doing, don't do what other people are doing, you know, forget, you know, don't worry about the ways that they do it, you know, they're doing it in ways that they have been um, guided by their guides. So you're being guided by your guides to do things your own way. So trust whatever that comes to you, trust your own, you know, how you feel you need to heal. That's how other people will need to heal as well. Okay. So definitely working with the body. Okay. Working with the body, clearing the energy of, um, it's like transforming the energy in the body through your through sound through vibration okay so look into light language look into sound look into frequency look into sound bowls crystal healing light language uh, i think i already mentioned light language but yes so you transform you transform the energy within the human body that's what you, you do okay so it doesn't matter how you do it it's just something that leads you back to to healing Healing the body. Transformation. Bringing beauty wherever you go. You know, a lot of you are very beautiful. Um, you've got a very beautiful physical vessel. 
<laughs> you know, when people look at you, you always get compliments. Wow, you know, it's so beautiful. Because you just have this thing of wanting to create beauty all around you. You see beauty in life all around you. That is so, that's such a beautiful thing to have. But a lot of you don't trust that, you know, this is how you heal people. Maybe you feel like you need to actually be a doctor or you need to be doing, you know, Reiki and things like that to, to actually heal the body. But you don't because you have a very special gift on its own that's linked to sound frequency music. A lot of you could be Atlantis, uh, had a past life in Atlantis. So a lot of Atlantean souls healed um, through sound, through frequency, to crystals. Okay. So it does say that you are blocking off your your ability to actually step into the power of being a powerful healer because you feel like you that's this is uh, not a proper way to heal you feel like you need to heal in a different way okay a lot of messages coming in um i am seeing that your ancestors did have this gift as well so it will be good for you to connect to your ancestors and see what they did in the past um bringing blessings into people's lives. Right now, you're, it, it feels like you may be trying to do a lot of different things at the same time. So lighten your load and focus on one. Okay, definitely focus on one because I do see this manifesting soon, you know. And this is part of your life purpose. It's, you know, whatever, when you do this, it's like a dream for you. This is definitely a dream come true when you tap into this thing. And this is something that you really do feel like doing it, you know, because it's come up as, you know, you wanting this to be a dream come true but you don't see it here you're just dreaming about it but you feel nah i don't see it you know but it is your life purpose so you're actually blocking your life purpose from coming up because you're trying to do everything else in the world okay travel is come up twice in your card so traveling is definitely an important part of your life purpose as well okay so i do see you making a lot of friends along the way so you know when you do workshops and retreats and circles and you know uh, tantra retreats and goddess circles and self-love circles um, that will bring in that will really bring in your true soul tribes you know and you will have a lot of good friends a lot of beautiful friends who will support you as you do this work okay that is all that i have for you group two i hope this helps thank you for watching i will speak to you in the next video welcome group three let's dive into your messages let's see what is your soul gifts? What are your soul gifts? Your soul talents? What do you need to know right now? What should you be doing? Writing. A lot of you are probably writers. You know, group three, it feels like you are a combination of group one and group two. <laughs> so you've got like all whatever that came up in group one and group two. So expressing yourself um, through your words, through writing, um, that is definitely something that you are very passionate about. I feel like a lot of you have um, tattoos. Um seeing someone with a uh, animal tattoo on them um that is i feel like that's bringing you some sort of um it's like it opened up this portal for you um yeah it's like it opened up this portal bringing in the energy of um the animal that you tattooed onto you okay now I'm also seeing that some of you, you know, you would be very good in creating things like, um, you know, being a tattoo artist. That's definitely something there. Working with a human body. Um, so like, you know, tattoo, massage, um, things like that. Um, animals seem to be an important part of your life. Crystals. Crystals play an important part of your life. So working with crystals, working with, um, with Earth's energy. Now, I see you working in a, in a building being in a building um, so maybe you know working as a school counselor a family counselor that's coming up here because you do have a gift to to heal through your words through your voice you know to when you express yourself people trust you you have this thing where people are just able to trust you and tell you you know the most intimate the most secret uh, deeper secrets that they have you have that gift okay so as long as you don't misuse that power that you have you know you will grow really big um as in your energy will grow <laughs> really big not you your energy will grow really big and you know your reach 
will grow really big as well the reach to help people okay you've got a connection to to crystals to oils to flowers so working on with 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 colors um, those are all things that you work with work very closely so you could be writing something uh, maybe healing through through flowers or travel is also part of your part of your energy um, I do see you being able to travel to different dimensions learning from your past um, also creating a new modality of healing or creative something what is it they're not telling me because it's not here yet some of the things that you can do doesn't even exist yet so they're not going to show it to me and they're not going to tell me because this is meant for you to develop on your own building this thing on by yourself okay um some of you um you may even go on to creating your own oracle cards you know and you may have take inspiration from flowers from crystals um you know animals i know yes there there are so many days like you know there's this spirit animal oracle there is a crystal oracle somewhere yes i do have a crystal oracle somewhere um there are you know there's a flower oracle somewhere i've got like i think over 30 cards here and you know there's a there's an oracle card for everything but like i said in the beginning of the video you know someone else has done it it doesn't mean that you can't do it you know, maybe the way that you write your images, your words is needed by a different group of people. You know, it's just like when you get a deck, right? You know, every deck will not suit everyone. You know, I may really connect to a certain deck, but someone else feels like I'm not feeling it, you know, and then they feel like they, they connect to a different deck. So create the cards that you want to create okay it doesn't matter if someone else has done it. it doesn't matter if there's like you know 10 goddess decks out there it doesn't matter if there's 10 animal spirit animal um, oracles out there you do yours okay and you allow it to come true you know channel through the message okay as long as you're doing it from a place of light and love right you will be successful okay it will it will really uh, work out for you okay um, I do feel like a lot of you are also being called to visit um, sacred spaces around the world. So there could be certain energies that you need to pick up from there. I am seeing you traveling to um, to the pyramids, um, to Uluru, to you know certain sacred places around the world. It just I just it just feels like there are codes there that you will pick up once you go to these places so if you feel a pull to go to a certain country um, to learn about what they do learn about their techniques of healing or learning about their native plants their native animals um, that is something that you should do because it will help you eventually fulfill the purpose that you came here to do okay so someone here I'm, I'm hearing that you may want to go and learn um the healing through plant medicine so if you're looking to travel and try the ayahuasca and then you know learning how to bring that back and you know provide that to the world that is something that will the universe will support you doing um, i'm also seeing working with flowers so for example the blue lotus flowers um you know, you, that's something I, I know it's banned in a couple of places. So you got to check in your country if you're allowed to have it, um, you know, healing with the blue lotus flowers, um, having it as tea or using it as an oil. Um, also working with oils and crystals. Yeah, those are all definitely things that, you know, it's coming up for you. And if you tap into this line of work, you will receive um, plenty of abundance in all areas of your life. It's like you will feel so fulfilled that, you know, you will start to open up. Um, the portals to attract abundance in all areas so it's not just oh it's just you know in my in my business or just in my work or you know it will be in every every area it's like complete happiness okay so what else do we have oh look at that so we have homeopath and batch batch flowers i'm pretty sure i'm saying that wrong batch flowers batch flowers that i need to learn how to say this right but anyway so there's that working with flowers there is uh working with musical instruments 
that's come up for you. Um, definitely channeling the angels. You've got to work with the angels. So a lot of you are probably earth angels here. Okay. Um, your travel, there's a lot of travel involved. And I do see you eventually um, meeting certain people, the right people on in, in a public transport. You know, so you could be in a bus in a new country and then you meet someone who's going to help you with something. Um, or, you know, in the Uber, the Uber driver will help you with something. So those are the things that's coming up. You also have the ability to make healing medicine you know so working with plant medicine cacao um things like that you have that that gift to create um but you've got to really watch your accounts so ensure that you are really looking after your accounts you know um bookkeeping accounting auditing that's something that you really want to focus on besides that you know retail sales selling certain things um so if you are creating all these medicines, I do see you creating something that will that you can sell. So you may have a retail store where you would sell these things or you would be connected to a retail store that will provide, you know, the certain flowers that you will bring and sell to other people. OK, so sales is also something that you will do, um, whatever that you're doing. It, it will be done in a very creative way. Um, you may also create accessories, fashion. So it could be like crystals, like, um, you know, all this, this, this crystal uh, jewelry I am seeing accessories that you can use um, you know necklaces um, things like that that can really help people that's coming up for you as well besides that you're able to choreograph things properly so a choreographer for something um, because you're able to see things and create um, so that's come up for you and also, um, you know, something connected to science. So a lot of you could have been a scientist in the pa in your past life or a science teacher or, you know, working with, with chemistry and, you know, biology. Mostly, mostly chemistry. I'm seeing equations and, and, you know, portions and things like that coming up for you. Okay, so those are the areas that you can excel in. So your group, group three is a little bit more open. You know, there's a little bit more a wider scope of things compared to the first two groups let's see what else we need to know group three so this feels like it's something that you have probably not done yet but the door is opening now for you to step into this line of work so speak to your angels and you know um, take the first step, okay? Maybe booking a trip over to a retreat somewhere where you can learn more about plant medicine, you know? Um, getting, making connections with, you know, um, with people who are planting, the farmers who are planting these plants, you know? Um, because agriculture, farmer, that's also come up in your, even farmer engineer, in agriculture engineer those things have, are coming up for you as well so you may eventually look into even planting and creating these medicines yourself so at the moment here it's just about you making the commitment to do it if you do it then you will be assisted it's like your work is something that you will do from across the world so that's why i'm saying across the world not worlds but across the world so it's like you are here and then the the plants are grown elsewhere so i do see the traveling going there learning elsewhere there's this distance there there's uh it's like learning from a completely different culture that's what's coming up for you okay so you'll definitely build a lot of friendships and you'll you know this will bring you a lot of happiness this new beginning but you got to trust your spirit guides so you do work with the local spirit guides with the ancestors of the land um so connecting to, to the local ancestors, if you're going to Egypt, you know, connecting to the ancestors of the land there. If you're going to to um, Uluru, you know, connecting to the ancestors, the Aboriginal ancestors of, you know, Australia. So that's coming up here, working with them, learning from them. You do have the telepathy abilities to, to connect to trees, to plants. So working with the tree spirits, working with the plant spirits, okay, that is something that, you have so drawing so i am seeing you creating you know drawings and pictures when you are even especially when you uh, have taken plant medicine i do see that happening for you i do see you drawing these patterns okay so 
Animals are definitely plays plays a very very important part of your in your life. Okay, we've got two cards here from two different decks that talks about animals being an important um thing, important purpose in your life. Um and for everywhere uh, for everyone else here you need to just basically create boundaries. I feel family your family would tend to overstep or control what you're doing. You could be you could have been brought up in a very strict uh, manner or you know very very different from what you want to do so a lot of people may not understand uh, plant medicine and things like that so you've got to set your own boundaries and you've also got to ensure that you don't overuse it or abuse the substances right it needs to be done in a holistic way it needs to be done for holistic reasons you know it's not something it's like a, it's not it shouldn't be like a recreational um use you know so it needs to be done with respect and you shouldn't there's a tendency for you to overindulge in things like this, okay? So they're telling you to set your boundaries for yourself as well, okay? So I'm just going to pull one last card from this deck. See what other energies supports you in your life purpose. So yep, speaking up, speaking your truth, standing up for the truth, standing up for the rights of, you know, those for the voiceless, um, connecting to to shamanic music. I am seeing that coming up there for you. So movement, music, um, plant medicine, your voice, light language, um, chanting. Those are all things that's coming up here for you. The only thing is you must have certain boundaries for yourself and you must be able to not overdo things and be able to focus. Okay, You are a little unfocused because part of you wants to have fun. You've got this very fantasy-like energy and you want to kind of have fun. you know. But you need to focus because it's not about you just receiving. It's about you now helping and giving. So to give, you need to be able to focus to think straight um so that's the only thing that's kind of blocking you from from achieving what you are you know going to achieve um like if you are currently taking you know medications to make you high or you know recreational drugs to keep you high that's something that you got to stop because it's blocking you from seeing more than you can actually see you've got an amazing gift to see beyond the world but um the whatever that you're taking any substances that you're taking alcohol or drugs it's keeping you here it's not letting you go past so you feel because you went from here by taking it you went here right away so you skip this bit here and you thought wow i you know i've seen so much more i understand so much more now that i'm here but then you don't realize that as you keep taking it you're not going to go further than this line and you can actually go up to here okay so think about that when you you know keep taking this thing so yeah there you go finding a good balance between what you're doing okay finding a good balance in your energy don't overindulge in things you have a habit of doing that um, also setting your boundaries speaking your truth you know doing what is right for you and working with plants okay connecting to nature um, agriculture farming farmers um, all that's coming up here for you okay and I do see that, you know, you will make a lot of new friends, just like in all the groups. It's so beautiful. In all three groups, um, we have, you know, the reading that says, as you do this, you will be surrounded by your tribe. And you will have beautiful friends from all around the world that you will connect to. Soulmates from all around the world. Okay, that is all that I have for you, group three. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps and I'll catch you in the next video. Welcome, group four. So I initially planned to do just three readings but something told me that I need to do four readings so let's see what comes up for you group four I feel like this is just going to be a very open reading with just um, different ideas of what you may be doing or what you could be doing in life um, a lot of you have mediumship abilities okay so the ability to to speak to um, spirits who have passed on um, you could be hearing a ringing in your right side of your ears okay so if you hear this ringing here that's because you are being contacted by the spirits a lot of you hear but you haven't been able to see yet um, so spirit wants you to know that you know you have the ability to see 
if you choose to open your third eye okay um, you're also you know someone who is who can bring peace and harmony into the world um, so working with the white light and helping souls who are stuck on earth helping them move and go in your transition to the next part of their life okay so now i'm just going to read to you a couple of things that you know you could be doing or you have an interest in or you would you could do really well this could also be uh people within this line of work who may help you uh step into your path or you know step into your purpose okay so i'm just going to read this like i said this is going to be a very big reading for a big group of people a general it's going to be very general so let's see so we have okay so dealing with spirits okay that's definitely come up here dealing with spirits so some of you could find yourself being uh, pulled towards, you know, learning about how people die, you know, dealing with dead bodies, the cemetery, crematorium, um, forensic work, you know, working at the morgue. That's something that's come up. Um, some of you could have been uh, witches who used to do uh, spells and or used to hide or find, um, find shelter in the in the cemetery so if you were being hunted you know you used to hide in the cemetery you used to uh, you know find shelter there so you've got a strong connection to spirits from a past life you know this is coming in from a past life the ability to connect so you're not really afraid of spirits that's what i'm seeing okay now i'm also seeing um you know doing religious work so a lot of you could have been, you know, priests, monks, nuns, uh, priestesses in past lives. So this this life you get pulled to studying religion. You're very interested in knowing about what religions can offer, what, you know, uh, what do they do, how they help people. That's something that's come up there. Um, you're very good with your hands. So you're able to make things with your hands, creating things. Um, so like even cooking, um, you know, having a restaurant. Those are definitely things that you're very good at doing. Um, besides that, I am seeing something that you work with computers. So gamer, you know, a gamer online, making money through through gaming, uh, making money through music, DJ, creating music, uh, being a health worker. Um, once again, coming back to working with your hands, you know, being a hairstylist, a barber, beautifying people. I'm also seeing you working with um, medical equipments. So that's connected to being a health worker. Um, you could be a paramedic, um, something along those lines. Bookkeeping, accounting, uh, that is something that you will excel in as well. And also traveling. So you like being up in the sky. So, you know, airlines, working with the airlines, um, whether it is ground staff or, you know, the stewards, stewardess, pilots, um, that's something that's come up for you. Besides that, coaching people, I see business coaching. So maybe, you know, some of you could be accountants or looking to study accounting. Um, you are able to create a business where you coach people um, and helping them with their accounts, with their business. Um, there's something that you are very good at doing, okay, that you will excel when you do, okay. So let's see what else is coming up for you. Group four. Yes, group four. I do see you working with, um, you know, shipping things overseas. Um, so that is coming up here. You may be creating things, making things or importing, export. That is something that's coming up here as well. You are very connected to the environment. So, you know, working with, with earth um you know with nature with the animals teaching people about about earth and you know the animals is something that you will excel doing you have a very strong connection to music you know your connection to music is healing for yourself and for others so definitely use your voice i feel like you have been afraid to speak it's like you've been holding back for some time. Maybe in your past life, um, you were, you you know, speaking up got you in trouble. 
But right now, I'm seeing that you need to let go of that fear. You may need to do some past life clearings to clear any fears that's, you know, holding you back. It's like, to me, you prefer the, what you, the unseen, you know, spirits and the other side of the veil than your own fellow human <laughs> brothers and sisters. It's like you trust them more than you trust humans, you know. That's something that I'm seeing for you. Okay. So you have the ability to teach. Um, that is something that you can do. And, you know, whatever that you do, it's like you got to take charge of it. It's like you would be the leader in whatever that you do. So I am also seeing um, cooking, uh, creating nutrition, working with, with, the, with uh, plants. That is coming up here. I'm not sure if I saw this in group three or four, but I thought there was something to do with um, yeah, cooking, catering, owning a restaurant, teaching people how to make nutritional, uh, nutritious foods. Um, I am seeing maybe creating a channel where you should have a cooking channel where you're teaching people. You may even eventually write a book, uh, where you teach how to create something, and it'll be something that you will do on your own. Okay, so it's not a joint venture with anyone else. It will be just your voice and through your learning, through your experiences, you will create this book or you will create this this um, outlet where you can share and teach other people how they can um, work with nutrition. Okay, you are definitely very protected. Um, at the moment, there is some stagnant energy within you. So you're being asked to do yoga, um, you know, balance your energies, um, connecting with the ocean. So you do work well with the ocean as well, connecting to the crystal grids um, through the ocean. Uh, that's something that you're being asked to do because that is the only thing that's kind of blocking you from doing the work that you're meant to be doing, okay? A lot of you, if you are finding it hard to understand the spirits because you work really closely with the spirits. Um, you're being asked to get your get some tarot cards uh, or oracle cards where you can work and um, help you polish your skills when it comes to working with spirits, understanding them better, you know, helping them, giving them a way to talk to you until you can see. Okay, so for now, it does look like it's a little bit, a little bit blocked. You may see orbs, you may see colors, but you're not seeing them as they are. Okay, so for you to see, um, if you if you if you don't want to see, that's fine. You can communicate and teach them how to talk to you. You know, so for me, once the more I practice with my cards, the more my guides know how I see things. So they know how to show me. You know how what I pick up on. So you gotta teach them how you understand things as well. Okay, so. I feel like whatever that you're doing will change the world for our children. It's like you're you're making making the world a better place for the children who are gonna come, so that is something that's coming in strongly for you. Um, if you someday something holding you back, you know some sort of fear holding you back, you need to let that go, uh, because you know spirit wants you to know that you are very protected, okay? And you gotta trust your sensitivity. It's like you have this ability to just know and feel through your body. You heal the body as well. So whatever that you're doing, whatever that you, it comes to you, it will come through feelings. You will know like, okay, this feels wrong. So I shouldn't hold this. Or, you know, this crystal feels right. So I'm going to hold this because this is going to help me do this. It's like you got to trust whatever messages that comes to you. Okay. So someone might say, oh, you know, this crystal um, works for this. But then you realize that when you work with this crystal, it opens up the doors to, to a different dimension, opens up the, the doors to inner earth. Then you got to trust that. Just because other people say, no, that's not true. It doesn't mean that it's not true. Okay. What is your truth is your truth. So it's a lot about standing in your power and trusting yourself. Okay. And, and really embracing your sensitivity because that's your gift. You're very sensitive to things. So that's why you can pick up on the Even in, in spirits who are stuck here, they come to you because you can pick up on things. You will get goosebumps, you know. That's like a very common thing for you. Chills, getting chills when you get a confirmation. Um, it's, it's, yeah. And then you make things, you put in your energy, in the vibration. You just know what to create things, how to create things, making things beautiful, making... It's like making the world a beautiful place. And it's like making the world a beautiful place for the future generation. 
it's funny because I'm hearing they're saying that some of you want to come back <laughs> and you're like I'm not coming back if this is the hell that it, that earth is gonna be so if I'm coming back I've got to make sure that it's good for me to come back again in future so that's funny that's just um, something that one of your guides just mentioned um, so I'm just gonna pull one more card here to see if there are any other messages for you group four See what else you need to know. Okay. So there's definitely an, an ending here for you, you know, needing to move in a new direction. So walk away from the situation um, in order to resolve it. Okay, that's a message that's coming in because when you walk away, you allow the closure to happen. Justice will be served. Okay, so whatever situation that you are in, if you are in a place that is... Um, it's a lot of disharmony around you. It is blocking your your finance, your prosperity from growing, okay? I'm seeing the money tree growing in front of you. But for it to grow, for your financial health to come in, you need to allow this to end, okay? So walk away, you know. It's okay if you don't get closure. It's, it's fine. You do what you have to do. You trust your own gifts and you walk in the direction of light and love. If you focus your energy into love and love you will be supported you will be protected and justice will be served okay and when you do light work the universe will provide okay when you do work like such a you know such a beautiful work here that i'm seeing you know creating the world, a better world for the children um you know and then there's also here making people beautiful creating um you know beautiful music creating nutrition it's all about healing the world in so many different ways you know being a health worker um you know working with medical equipments medicines and things like that it's all about healing you know helping people work with their finances all this will really improve your financial health okay so i am seeing you know a huge tree of prosperity growing but you have to let go and and um tap into this this energy of service making the world a better place when you do that you will be given everything that you need okay spirit guide so you do have a lot of spirits around you so it's up to you to connect helping them prosperity there you go you know so i am seeing um prosperity and you know um it's like gold and not just not just um like material gold i'm seeing like golden blessings golden light coming in i see you growing as a soul okay so you are very talented you've got a lot of talents so you've had many past lives and you've done a lot of different things you know some people kind of have the same thing they are healers they were dancers they were this they were always around the same line but for you it's like you were like i'm gonna try doing this and then i'm gonna be a doctor and I'm going to be a dancer, you know. So you've got a lot of different talents. It's like you are someone, if I just throw you in any part of the world, you will be able to to pick yourself up and make the money. You just know. You won't sit there and say, why is this not working? What do I do? And then you sit there and you cry and cry and cry and pray for something that is done to, to work for you, okay. For you, it's like, oh, this is not working. All right, let's do the next thing. If I'm fired from this company, let's do something else, you know? It's like you've got talents. You've got multiple talents. So put that to use, okay? Try different things. See what works for you. Maybe you want to try making stuff. Maybe you want to try uh, cooking. Maybe you want to try creating medicines, you know? Maybe you want to try creating accessories, jewelry, you know? what? Try doing different things and see what works for you, Okay? Um, you got to trust in your in your talent you really got to trust and you may feel called to to really go to the ocean so I feel like the ocean brings a lot of healing so really you know um, try going to the ocean as much as you can and at least soaking your feet up to your ankle you know the water up to your ankle um, also working with the moon energy you have a very um, strong connection to the moon energy so manifestations are uh, rituals creating things during the full moon or you know rituals during the new moon will really um help you okay so it does feel like you are in a part of finding who you are 
okay group four it's like coming back into your power stepping into your power right now it's all about searching so you're actually looking for searching for yourself so by doing all these different things that's why i looked at group four and, and they were like it's not going to be one focus it's going to be a lot of different things so i'm seeing you studying different religions you know i see you working with numbers i see you thinking how can you use your voice to coach people helping them you know fix their life how can I help people? How can I make the world a better place? You know, then you're looking into import and export and travel and, you know, being in the airlines, being up in the sky because you just want to be up to near the stars and near the moon. That's that's something that fascinates you. You want to be up there, you know. Um, so, you know, trying different things, you know, trying different skills until you come down to something that says, this is who I am. I found I found me. Okay. So you are going to be going through transformations, a lot of transformations. So have compassion for yourself if you, as you're going through different things, um, you know. Don't be so hard on yourself, you know. You don't have to be like everyone else, you know. It's like, it's like you feel like everyone's found their purpose and you still haven't found it and it's okay. Even if you're 78 years old, even if you're 80 years old right now and you haven't found that, pur your, that purpose, that's fine because your purpose is actually to try and find yourself. That's what you're meant to be doing, okay? So once you discover what it is, it will bring you, you know, extremely extreme joy. But you've got to let yourself step out of your comfort zone and try all these different things and have fun as you're doing it, you know? Don't do it in a way where it's stressful and you're like, okay, I'm doing this. I have to be successful in this. Now I've got to make a million dollars doing this. No, just do it. You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, you try. You put yourself out there. If it works, well, well done. If it doesn't, that's okay, you know? And because you've got so many things to do with finance, I just feel like I want to pull a deck thing from here. So, okay, look at that. You've got employment change, group four. So your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. Okay, so letting go, employment change, okay? And and this is beautiful. So you've got the moonlight. See, I talked about the moon, the moonlight. So you, that's come up here and it says, you can start working on your dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you, okay? So yes, you got to start preparing and knowing that, okay, it's time for change, but now I'm going to do... I'm going to keep doing this while doing everything else on the side, you know, while discovering, finding, finding my truth, finding myself on the side, okay? So working with nature, right? Nature has come up here to help you with your abundance, focusing on your priorities, um, because it's like you've got so many things that you just keep putting off, putting off, putting off. And the more you put things off, the more anxiety they're going to cause, okay? So even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So whatever that you're doing, you know, even if it's just a, a five-minute meditation every day or five minutes uh, connecting to the trees in nature, you know, there's something there, but, but you have to do the work. Okay, you have to have to do the work. And once this starts rolling, you can finally relax. It's the beginning stages, you know, the building, the, the, the finding, trying different things. Once you find it and you realize that, yes, this is it, things will change for you, okay? There will be abundance surrounding you, a lot of money. Group four, a lot of you, you are meant to have a lot of money. You're meant to be living very comfortable, because of the work that you're doing and you can only do this work when you are comfortable if you are struggling you can't pay your bills then how are you going to change the world and make the world a better place you know if you're going to be a business coach how are you going to help businesses earn and be successful when you yourself are struggling so it's like you have to do what you need to do and change your energy um you know flowing finding what finding your what works for you Okay, for you to achieve everything that you're meant to be doing in this life. Okay. Yeah, definitely do the work. Okay, that is all that I have for you, Group 4. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.